going to start off with, with an A chord. And this little finger wants to go up on the 5th fret. It's also an A of course, so it's still classed as a B and A. A major. And the, the pick you want to do is kind of going the A, going the G, and let's pick it up, going over and pick it up on the E. So I'll move this down a bit so you can see. Then it goes onto a D shape. So you've got the regular D shape that we know, but we're going to put this flat bar across, second fret, third fret you're going to put on second finger, and then you're going to put the fourth finger on the D, on the fourth fret. So you're going to put the first stage is going to be this, this A sort of shape. And you're going to pick from the B string. And after you've gone, you want to make sure that your little finger is put back on to the fifth. And you pick the E. And if you can bring the A in, so then you're going to swap between the A shape that you play and, um, and the D. You've got over that bit. Uh, the next thing you need is, is like it's called a dyad. It's just two notes that make it up, sliding up to the fifth fret, um, and you want uh, on the B string and also on the D. Uh, that's all you want. Just slide those up, mute everything else out, and you want to slide up from just below it, a bit like a what's called a chromatic lead, as you. Slide into note. So uh, that's that's the right amount that you want to do as well. Then you want to do a run. It goes from E, open E, uh, and it runs all the way through. Uh, it goes up to D on the 5th fret of the A and it's going so it's open on the E 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th 2nd on the A 3rd, 4th, 5th make sure you use all your fingers for it then it moves up to this next section. So for the next next bit, we're playing an A chord, but we're going to play it up here on uh, 14th fret, and you can use one finger for this bar across. And you want to pick from from the B up. So slide this down till we get to uh, the ninth fret. And you're going to basically put your first finger barring across and you're going to put on the D shape the one that we did down here we're going to put it on up here so the D that we play here is, is obviously an A so it's basically going A a, and then it's going to do the same shape that we did here, but it's going to start off with that shape, 
and then you're going to hammer on these two bits. Well, this shape is derived from the A shape and on the 5th fret it's basically going to be a D. So when we put the D on here, the D shape, that's actually going to be a G. So it's basically going from D straight onto the G. Right, so I hope you follow that through. Put the first bit together. You find it uh, goes back to that. Then it comes to this, it runs through that end section again. Then it comes to this little guitar break. Um, and um, it, it's basically on the B string, uh, 15th bent to sound like the 17th. Two of those. And then you bend it up and hold it. You bent down, drops back down to the 12. Then you want to slip onto the, uh, the G. This is on 12th fret. Bent to sound like the 15th, uh, 14th. That ends up down the 9th. Then this goes onto the B once again. Uh, this time it's going onto the 13th fret. It's going to get bent to sound like the 15th fret and that ends up down in the 10th fret and then it, uh, it winds its way down onto this uh, 7th fret on the G and it gets uh, quite, a, quite a large bend You want to try and introduce a little bit of vibrato into it if you can. Oops. Make sure you don't, don't let go of it like I do. Then you back down to it. If you want to do something underneath that, then you can play E to a G to a D to an A E. So there's, uh, there's this uh, additional thing that you can do just to, just to give it a bit more uh, realism. As you're playing through the, the rhythm, uh, I believe this comes after the guitar break. Um, but anyway, uh, so, so the section. <laughs> jump back up to this D to G right um, further to this um, there's a, a section where it does this uh, this little dyad thing but it tends to go down
that guitar, I believe, that then goes up onto uh, 14th fret. And it just sort of noodles around on that minor pentatonic on. Uh, kind of hear where it's going. Uh, it's almost like an ad lib piece that they put on top. Anyway, uh, to close, um, it, it does this, this shape, so we're on fifth fret. So this is, this is taken off the A shape. So I'll strip back the parts. You're left with, with that. So. Uh, we're after fifth fret, and second finger goes on to the uh, sixth fret uh, on the G. So it's it's A, and then we move on to a D7 shape. So if if I want to put on the regular D shape that we do in the, the sort of caged type shapes that that can do on guitar. That's a bit better. This is G. But obviously because it's that D7 shape and not a sort of D major shape, then it, it makes it a G7. So we got On the G7, it's moving up to a G sharp 7 or an A flat. And then it's moving up to the A. And, uh, and that's it. I uh, hope you find that useful.